Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure a Cisco wireless LAN controller lab in Packet Tracer. We will create a WLAN with a WPA2 personal security, set up an internal DHCP server on the WLC and connect a wireless laptop through a lightweight access point. By the end of this video, you will understand how to configure WLC step by step. Friends, I kindly request you to subscribe to our channel and if you find the videos helpful, please like and share. Let's get started. So first of all, we will design our topology. We will have a 2960 series switch. Then WLC, we will choose 3504. Then lightweight access point, we will use a 3702i. Then a desktop PC and a laptop. We can enable device model and uh, device name. Consider this is S1. WLC. Name as LAP. This is our admin PC. Then laptop. We will connect all these devices. WLC. Gigabit Ethernet 1 to S1 G0 slash 1. Then again from S1 G0 slash 2, we will connect to LAP. Then FS0 slash 1 will connect to admin. So once we configure the entire uh, topology, this laptop will connect through this LAP, lightweight access point. We will configure IP address in this WLC and admin. Here this laptop and LAP will receive IP address automatically using DHCP and the DHCP we will configure in WLC. So coming to WLC, we will go to config management. And here we can see the IP address they given 192.168.1.1. So as per our addressing table, we planned same address, but submit to mask, we will change it. Okay. Then in admin PC, desktop IP configuration, we will set the IP address 192.168.1.2. And here we can see uh, we don't have any router, hence we are not going to set the default gateway. Now we will try to ping from admin PC to WLC. 192.168.1.1. So we can see we get the replies. Now we will access WLC and uh, configure it through this uh, admin PC. So go to admin PC, then web browser. And here we are going to give our WLC IP address that is 192.168.1.1 and press go. And here we can see the URL it is HTTP protocol, not a secure protocol http colon double slash 192.168.1.1 and we need to uh, wait uh, around 15 to 30 seconds see after 22 30 seconds i get this window cisco 3500 series wireless lan controller so welcome please start by creating an admin account we are going to create an admin username here for example we are going to create admin then create admin password Okay, here we will give Cisco123, 
then uh, confirm admin password cisco123 then we can see click on start so now we will uh, configure this uh, settings set up your uh, controller system name we will give a wlc this all will give by default and here we can see management ip address and uh, for this wlc already we given 192.168.1.1 then submit to mask and here we can see default gateway and this default gateway is a mandatory field so uh, we are going to give an ip address here 192.168.1.254 we know that this uh, ip address we did not set anywhere so this is a simple wlc configuration in the next video we will configure with the router so that we will have a two uh, network and we will keep two access points lightweight access points in these uh, different networks and we will configure it so now temporarily we given this a uh, default gateway address then we will click on uh, next and here we need to uh, set a network network name for example here i am going to give tech account we can edit this name once we uh, do this basic configuration this wlc and uh, here we need to give a pass phrase i will give same cisco 123 cisco 123 and click next virtual ip okay local mobility group we will leave default click next so please confirm settings and apply everything good just click on apply and you click on this okay so we can see saving the configuration this may take a minute so just to keep in mind this is not going to close so what we can do just to, uh, we will close this web browser and uh, admin pc and here we can see uh, from wlc uh, to switch uh, first it will be in amber color then we can see it is in green so once it is in green uh, we can access this wlc again using the username and password we created so again we will go back to admin web browser and here we will give the ip address of our wlc that is 192.168.1.1 then click go and once you give that we get an error message immediately like server reset connection and first we given uh, we accessed our wlc using http so after the configuration again we are trying to access using http now it is not possible to access using http we must use https uh, because we set the uh, username and password and now we should go in a secure way here we are going to use the protocol HTTPS, then uh, the address. Now we are going to click on go. So we can see wireless LAN controller. We are going to click login and uh, we need to give the username and the password we created. Username is admin. Then password be given Cisco123. Then click on this uh, login. okay so it will come here we can see our wlc here we can see many tabs like monitor wlans controller wireless security management so and so and uh, in this uh, monitor we can see access point summary how many access point connected and how many clients connected so currently there is no access point because uh, we can see uh, this is uh, still down so we need to uh, put on this lightweight access point we will do that so coming to our wlc as we have only a single network we will go to wlans and here we can see uh, that wlan we created initially named techacad so we will click on this uh, wlan id 1 and we need to wait some time 
so that it will open this uh, WLAN we created. Yes. And here we can see general tab and uh, profile name we created Taka card, the same name SSID. So we are going to give SSID as Taka card underscore Wi Fi. Okay. Status enabled interface we can see that the default management interface we did not create any more interface here and we can see in security we already given a password that is pre-shared key as a cisco 123 now we need to go to advanced and here we need to enable this flex connect option flex connect local switching enable it and then flex connect local auth so enable it then click on apply okay here you get a message press ok to continue you need to wait some time so that this uh, tab will uh, switch from advanced to general yes here after uh, you give apply you need to wait some time like 10 to 15 seconds so that uh, this uh, whatever settings we, here, we have done uh, will be applied and it will go back to this uh, general tab. Now we will set internal DHCP in this uh, WLC itself. So for that uh, we need to go to controller here. Click on this tab and wait some 5 seconds and here we can see internal DHCP server and under this just to click on that and here we can see dhcp scope here we can see default dhcp scope created scope name is day zero dash dhcp dash mgmt so we can edit this same scope or we can remove this and we can create new so i am going to edit this So here the given pool stat address 192.168.1.3 I'm going to change it to 1.10. Then pool end address the given 1.14 here we will give 1.100. The network is correct. Net to mask we given slash 24. So let me give it 255.255.255.0. Then default routers anyway we don't have any default router. So, just we will set 254 here. So, if you have a DNS server, we can set that 192.168.1.1. That's fine. Now, click apply. And to wait some time. Yeah, it's set. So we done all the required configuration in this uh, WLC through admin PC. Now we are going to uh, save configuration, then click OK. So successfully saved all configuration. Click on OK and uh, minimize this uh, window admin. We configured our WLC. Now we are going to enable this LAP, click on this LAP and here we can see our power adapter, just drag and connect it to this power option here, it is activated and here we can see it shows in amber color, we need to wait some time, we can fast forward, okay. Now again we will go to LAP and he should get the IP address from this uh, WLC. We will go to config and here we can see in global settings, gateway and the DNS, we will click, click on DHCP so that they will, uh, this LAP will get the IP default gateway and DNS server from our uh, WLC. So this is the gateway what we given. And actually, uh, this uh, gateway is not required here because uh, we don't have any other network and the router. We have only single network. Here we need to set up this uh, gigabit Ethernet to zero. And here we can see it is in DHCP only. And we can see the IPv4 address 192.168.1.10.
so this address is uh, received from this uh, wlc dscp server also we can see submit to mask perfect now we are ready to uh, connect our laptop to lightweight access point if you keep the cursor on this uh, lightweight access point here we can see that cap wap status connected to 192.168.1.1 that is our wlc and also we can see providing wlans that is tech card we given the ssid as a tech card underscore wi-fi yes now we will connect our laptop to lap go to laptop and here we have a wired connection so put off this uh, laptop then uh, remove this uh, module and add this uh, wireless interface then put on laptop now we will go to desktop pc wireless and here we can see connect option we can click in the on this uh, refresh yeah so that we can see our ssid be created tech card wi-fi click on that and click on connect so wpa2 personnel needed for connection we can see security is wpa2 personnel so uh, it comes automatically uh, then pre-shared key we given cisco 123 then connect so if you go to link information we can see it is connected also we can see its ip address just close that and we go to ip configuration and we can see the next address is assigned to laptop 192.168.1.11 submit to mask gateway dns server whatever we configured here in wlc i mean internal dscp server we can test the connectivity you will send a pdu from a laptop to admin and we can see it's successful friends that's all in this lab thanks for watching this video i hope this tutorial helped you understand how to configure a wlan with a wpa2 personal on cisco wlc using internal dhcp if you found this useful please give it a like share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more labs and technical videos see you in the next video